What's up guys? Um, so as many of you are probably aware, tax season is just around the corner. Everybody's got to do it. It's kind of our civil duty. So anyways, um, the guys over at Liberty Tax, they extended an offer to me to extend an offer to you. They are professionals at uh, any and everything that has to do with taxes. Um, they are perfect for if you're like nervous about your taxes, you're brand new to taxes, you're too busy to do your taxes, and anybody afraid of the three letters I, R, and S. So today I'll be demonstrating with a little bit of professional help, anybody can do anything. So just as the guys at Liberty Tax are professionals at doing taxes, uh, I, professional competitive eater. So um, I'll be teaching today an amateur a few of the tricks of the trade. Amateur. Hell yeah, you're an amateur. So I did a little bit of scouting. I found the most novice, amateur, hopeless, competitive eating wannabe who has more experience than he has skill. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my brother Morgan. All right, so as I just said, um, today I'm going to be teaching Morgan a few techniques, tricks, whatever you want to call them, um, just in case one day he decides to enter a contest, he doesn't make a complete of himself. So a few minutes ago, we just did a quick five burrito test run as a control, to see how bad he did, and needless to say, uh, he did pretty bad. So, um, ready to start eating burritos the right way? Ready to start doing this? Everybody knows that half of my eating abilities comes from the fact that I wear a headband, so uh, I got your own little selection of headbands today, Morgan. So pick a color headband, Morgan. Your choice. Neon green? Yeah. Boy. Super 80s. <laughs> Alright, so that's lesson number one. Be equipped with the proper accessories. <laughs> Oh, Alright, ready Morgan? Now that you got your headband and everything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not quite. No competitive eater worth their two cents sits down while they're competing. So um I guess you could say tip number two is to stand up. Alright, so we're outside. As you can see it's actually kinda of windy today, but uh, we're standing upright. Got a good posture. Feel like you need more already? Yeah. Alright, so we've got one burrito. That's it. I bet it. Let's see what you got. Ooh. All right, as you can see, Morgan's suffering drastically. Dry burrito. He's having a hard time getting down, right? All right, so tip number three is kind of my personal preference. Always, here's my burrito. Always hold your cup in one hand. Wow. Make fun of me right now, but I wasn't choking on a burrito a few seconds ago. It seems like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many people lose their common sense when they start the eating competition. So take your burrito, I got a cup of water, you go. Call that bad. Alright, let's see him, Morgan, then. Mr. Confident. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, technique. technique. I got the fist. Hey, that wasn't too bad, was it? Right, so was that last part of the burrito a little bit easier than the first part? Yeah. There was cheese. There was cheese. <laughs> so Morgan, he's got his headband on, standing upright. He knows how to hold his cup and food simultaneously. This is going to be step number four. But step number four is something that I like to do during the contest. Uh, I just can't imagine standing still and eating 10 to 15 pounds of food. So. If I feel like a burp coming up, or I'm just feeling a little uncomfortable, hold my burrito, put my cup down so I don't spill it all over the place. Give it a nice jump. Make gravity work for me. Push it down. Maybe give a little shake. Helps the gas kind of move up and uh, the food settle down a little bit more. Right. You'd be surprised how much it helps. All right, so food in hand. <laughs> what the heck? Can't do it. You gotta go. 
No. Imagine like you got a big wad of food in your stomach, you're pushing it down like that. This is such an awkward moment. All right, let's see a good jump, pushing a shake. Oh. <laughs> Oh, dang. Holy shit. Oh, oh All right, so Morgan's got four things down, four tips. We're ready to try out some more burritos. Beat your time last time. Easy, easy. All right, here we go. Redemption for Morgan, at least. Uh, five burritos. See how fast we can eat it. You know the time to beat. So, uh, you ready? Yeah. Five. Four, two, one, go. Morgan to the left. Put food on the left, cup in the right. That's the way Joey Chestnut does. Oh. 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 Morgan's in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, it's not doing. It's not moving anywhere. The point is the taste of beans is amazing. Like freaking gag. All right, you're gonna beat your time by 30 seconds. You have 20 seconds left. Come on, let's see it. Five. Come on, hurry up. Four. Three. Two. One. Superman at the end there. Mm. Alright, well as you can see, even though it was only 30 seconds shaved off his time, I'd say he at least did a little bit better since he's already stuffed full of burritos. So just as I am a professional competitive eater, uh, Liberty Tax, like I said earlier, is a professional tax preparation service. So uh, I helped my brother today try to get better at eating burritos and they can help you do your taxes correctly. If you follow the link right below, uh, Liberty Tax will give you $40 off next tax preparation service for new customers only so um it's not too bad you can buy you 40 bean burritos no <laughs> that's for you morgan what are we gonna do with you boot camp i'll be the sergeant really stuffed with the 12 burritos <laughs> no, 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 no. you have to work in your capacity